Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Allah Loves. So last time we talked about the strong believer. And in this episode, I want to focus on independence, this idea of actually being independent. So obviously a person should seek to be in a place in which they are giving. The Prophet sallallahu mentioned, Inna Allah yuhibbu al-abd al-faqir al-muta'affif. That verily Allah loves a servant who is poor, yet at the same time maintains a sense of dignity, does not go out and beg, does not put themselves in a vulnerable situation, but in, 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 instead tries to pick themselves up. And the Prophet ﷺ mentioned, Abu al even if that person might have a big family, they still do their best to be as independent as possible. The Prophet ﷺ taught us to seek refuge in Allah from debt, to seek refuge in Allah from being in a difficult situation. Yet there are entire chapters of hadith on the virtues of poverty, the virtues of being in these types of tests that are not self-inflicted, but at the same time they're tests and trials that come. And that a person tries their best to maintain as much of modesty, as much of, of, of their independence as possible, even in those situations. And it becomes a mindset. Sometimes if a person finds himself in a difficult situation, and uh, has to resort to something they typically would not, then they can actually adopt that as a mindset. And that's something that the scholars mentioned that a person should try to avoid. Allah loves that person who is trying, even in their most difficult moments, to be as independent as possible. Uh, the Prophet ﷺ went through numerous examples of this. Awf ibn Malik says, we even took a bay'ah, we took a pledge with the Prophet ﷺ, that we would not ask people for anything. And he says the companions that were present in that pledge took that pledge so seriously that if one of them were on their riding animal and they dropped something, they dropped a whip or they dropped whatever it is that they had with them, they wouldn't ask someone else to pick it up for them, but instead they would get down and they would pick it up themselves. So that sense of independence is something that is to be ingrained in the mindset, in the psyche. The Prophet ﷺ mentioned five advices that Jibreel ﷺ, that the angel Gabriel gave to him. And the last two things, he said, وَعْلَمْ أَنَّ الشَّرَفَ الْمُؤْمِنِ قِيَامُهُ بِاللَّيْلِ Know that the nobility of the believer is a standing up in prayer at night. That your sense of nobility is not in the things that other people endow you with. It's not with the awards that are given to you. It's not with the recognition of this world. It's in the standing up in prayer at night and distinguishing yourself in the sight of Allah, seeking honor in His sight. وَعْلَمْ أَنَّ الشَّرَفَ الْمُؤْمِنِ قِيَامُهُ بِاللَّيْلِ Know that the nobility of the believer is his standing up at night. وَعِزَّهُ اِسْتِغْنَاهُ عَنِ النَّاسِ And his sense of dignity is his not being in need of people. So a person should strive as much as they can to be always in a state of independence, whether it's financial, emotional, physical, whatever it may be. Now with that being said, with all of the du'as, all of the supplications that you make, asking Allah to protect you from an adz wal kasal, from inability, from laziness, from غَلَبَةِ الدَّيْنِ وَقَهْرِ الرِّجَالِ From the, the hardship of poverty, the hardship of, of debt and the cruelty of man being in the situation where you are subject to some sort of cruelty because you need someone. With all of that being said, if a person finds themselves in a situation where they are in need of help, obviously they should seek help. This is speaking to the mindset. Allah does not want us to suffer in silence. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala simply wants us to not accept or resign ourselves to a position of weakness or to a position of being dependent, to try our best to not adopt it as a mindset. And that speaks to the same strength that the Prophet ﷺ was speaking about in the previous episode. So we ask Allah to never allow us to be in need of anyone but Him, to make us people that always strive for His goodness and strength and to make us a people that are independent of all things but Him, for surely upon Him we are always dependent, even if we don't recognize it. Jazakumullah khairan. See you all next time, inshaAllah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.